Hello, I'm Paul Pluter and today I'm con continuing the great series Why I Love This Watch and today I'm looking at the Breguet Type 20 Aaron Vale. This is quite a stunner in my range here and uh, I'd like to tell you why I feel so strongly about this magnificent piece and uh, do you like the, the box? This is the Breguet box which is uh, meant to look like the wing on a vintage aircraft that's what these uh, rivets on this box here are meant to represent and uh, this superb piece here is one of uh, the new additions to my collection the Breguet Type 20 Aaron Vale and it's on the Breguet bracelet that's right this is the uh, very, very beautiful high-end bracelet done by Breguet. And I've got to say, what an adventure it's been. And here we have the Breguet placed inside its wonderful Breguet box. This uh, piece of aircraft history here, the wing of a vintage aircraft, just adds to the Breguet mystique and mystery. We open the case to reveal a beautiful royal blue leather area where the watch resides to talk to other upper high-end wrist watches. The Breguet Type 20. This magnificent piece here, this piece you see before your eyes is Breguet's Type 20 featuring the wonderful Lamania movement, that's right. It's a Lamania movement. Lamania supplied makers like Patek Philippe. It supplied many high-end watchmakers. And now Breguet is part of the Swatch Group. It proudly provides the Lamania-based movement for Breguet. What a wonderful, beautiful piece. Why do I love this piece so much? That is a very good question. Look at the coin edging on this piece here absolutely stunning absolutely stunning and done with class and distinction Breguet why do I love this brand so much and it all began I was never really much of a chronograph man myself I had a small collection I had a Rolex president day date 18k with diamond dial I had an Explorer 2 polar a date steel submariner 16610. I had a two tone date just, and the uh, wench at the time had a Cartier Santos two tone moon phase. I didn't really like, I didn't really like sports, I didn't really like sports chronographs, but uh, in 2000 I um, discovered. Breguet, I was working for a watch dealer, selling a few pieces, and I came across this magnificent piece. This is not the very said piece, but it was a similar looking. I remember it was an Aaron Vale on the bracelet. And uh, I must say, my seed for loving chronographs was set by this beautiful 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 wristwatch and Breguet themselves what a wonderful name they invented the tourbillon they invented so many things and uh, I love that script on the dial Breguet look at that and I love the art deco numerals not to be confused with Breguet numerals this is uh, actually art deco numerals and there's a uh, what happened in time was I managed to, many years down the track, I acquired my first, actually my second Breguet. The first Breguet I bought was a white gold dress watch in the late 90s. And then in, uh, I think it was 2010, 2011, I acquired a transatlantic, the one with the date on a leather strap. I eventually sold that. And then I acquired another one. But uh, I always lusted after 
the bracelet variant look at look at how this bracelet is done here just very very tastefully it even has carved sides just like the tudors do look at this just like the tudor does there absolutely gorgeous bracelet reggae type 20 has a very very beautiful steel bracelet and it has a wonderful look at the clasp on this piece here this is a quality very very much a quality quality bracelet of the highest order the gloss and polish on this piece here is quite amazing and uh, you can see Breguet just etched into the bracelet ever so finely this is the sort of quality you would expect from a name like Breguet Breguet themselves, they're famous for their coin edging. That's right, the coin edging. No other brand does it. Look at the attention to detail on the crown here. A proud Breguet B. Absolutely stunning. Beautiful pushes, beautiful lugs. This piece here is luxury at its finest. A beautiful engraved case back explains the Breguet story of this wonderful time piece the breguet type 20 that's right the type 20 it was it was a uh, reference to breguet's military supply contract the french naval air force the french navy wanted a piece for their pilots and uh, they requested a flyback chronograph breguet supplied them with this type of beautiful timepiece what a luxury brand a luxury name what a wonderful story because Breguet was French that's right Breguet was French and it's just an absolutely stunning brand this is one of the greatest luxury brands of all time absolute quality piece Breguet itself there is a brand synonymous with luxury and high-end punters. You can see why Archibald Chesterfield III became a huge advocate of the sports chronograph. The name of Breguet, one of the famous, famous watchmaking brands of all time, is synonymous with high-end punters. Rossini. Rossini had a Breguet. How about Sir Winston Churchill, the saviour of Great Britain? Many, 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 many times Breguet has been mentioned in modern day literature. Pushkin mentions Breguet so many times. Breguet goes through history. And uh, it's a absolutely amazing tribute to the brand that is Breguet. Breguet themselves there, they're just such an iconic, fabulous brand with such a strong, illustrious history. And I am so proud to be wearing the brand called Breguet. What a wonderful piece. I love you, Breguet. I love you. Breguet turned me on to chronographs. This wonderful piece is the piece that gave me the bug, the passion, the desire. Breguet, 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 Breguet. I love you forever. You changed my life, you beautiful girl. Hi guys, Archie Luxury, Archie Luxury Channel. Guys, I want to talk to you today. It's very, very important. Men cannot live on Google Ads alone. I depend on your support to keep me on YouTube full time. Guys, there's a number of ways you can help me stay on YouTube producing content. Number one, you can organize a paid review. That's right. I will make a video for US $20 minimum and I will review your collection. I'll answer a question for you. Um, so, you know, normally takes, uh, normally, you know, about 14 days, 10 to 14 days for me to make these vids. The other thing you could do to sponsor me and help me stay full time on YouTube is sponsor me on Patreon. Patreon allows you to pay a small amount of money, like a dollar, 
two dollars, five dollars, ten dollars, twenty dollars, anything, any amount you want over a dollar, you can, and it basically sends a dollar each month to me. Now you can cancel at any time if you're sick of the show or you don't like me anymore. Uh, so guys, 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 help keep me full time on YouTube. Paid reviews. I do sponsor me on Patreon, and Patreon people get advanced screening of some videos and secret videos. Not to mention, I got advertising space on the fridge. Come on, guys, keep me full time on YouTube. Okay.